Hi there, my name is Shauna Bernardin and I'm here with Global Groomers. And today I'm going to give you some quick tricks and tips on Bear the Little Yorkshire Terrier. He's a little sweetheart. This is a super popular breed, so I'm really excited to share some tips with you guys. Uh, Bear is going to get a little snorky, which is just a little name that we made up, which is actually a schnauzer trim on a Yorkie. But we're going to modify it just a little bit today because it's real cold where I live in the winter right now. So I'll be back in a little while after he gets a good bath, then we'll give you some we good We are tricks. back with little Bear the Yorkie, and we're going to put him in a little snorky haircut. Remember, that's a slang. It's actually just a schnauzer pattern. And uh, his parents asked me today to modify it a little bit. So just to be clear, you could use a seven blade, a 10 blade, but today I'm going to choose to use a number two blade on my wall Bravera with a number 40 blade. Okay, but we're still gonna use the same schnauzer pattern. So we have bathed them, blowed them dry, and we've done the pads and nails so far. So now we're just gonna put the pattern on him. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stand behind him with him parallel to our body, and we're just gonna back brush this up. And I'm gonna put the pattern on him first. So I'm using my wall Bravera with a number two blade. And I'm gonna just take that real carefully down the middle of the back. And I want to try to go as straight as possible. And you can see how much hair that takes off in such a short amount of time. Like, it's beautiful. Okay, so remember on the schnauzer, we take the back of the thigh off. And we're kind of blending it into the side. And when you come down on the side of the body, you want to wrap it around. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna do it three times, and then we're gonna work on the legs. So here we are, back with little baby bear, and he's getting a little snarky today. A couple things that I wanted to point out to you. I don't always groom him. I haven't groomed him for quite some time, but this is one thing for sure, and I see it a lot, is they have shaved down the complete bridge of his nose. So now we're gonna to have to grow that back. And then the other thing, is you can see how low his skirt is. So the last time he was groomed, they groomed it more like a dress. So now we have the pattern all completed on bear. We've gone over it a couple of times with the number two. One quick trick I wanna share with you is that I always keep a couple of different clippers on my table with the different attachments. It saves me a ton of time at the end of the day. So um, I'm just gonna back brush up this, his legs. And like we said at the beginning of the video, the underline is real long right now. A really nice commercial length on Yorkie, Shih Tzus, any of those little mixed breeds uh, is a yellow attachment. So I'm just gonna run that straight down his leg. And you can see how awesome that was. And all I did is just run it quickly down his leg. On his underline, I'm gonna take that and I wanna blend that in because it's ridiculously long at the moment, so I want to wrap it around. I'm going to just take that straight down the front of his leg. Now remember, this is a modified Schnauzer trim. It's not breed profile because it's a Yorkshire Terrier. We'll be back with a few more Here tips. We are back, and at this point in time, we've taken the body off with the blue attachment, and the legs are off with the yellow. So I'm just going to show you a quick little bevel. Remember, every time before we ever start doing our bevels, your pads are done and your nails are done and the dog's properly washed and blow dried. Excellent tip for you guys. We're just gonna comb the hair straight down to the bottom of the foot. Then I'm gonna just use a little pair of curved shears and I wanna just clear the bottom of the foot, making sure that we're not scissoring into the top of the foot, okay? We're just clearing it off. Then you wanna place the weight back down on the ground. Then I just take my comb and I comb it out in all directions. And with the weight back down, you've already created a bottom line. So now I'm just gonna match the bottom line to the top line. I know you guys really struggle a lot with uh, bevels. If you start to follow these tips, your bevels are gonna become a lot better and a lot easier. So we'll be back in a minute. We're going to do a little head. Oh, I'm going to show you a few little tricks on creating a Yorkshire Terrier and a Schnauzer trim. Now remember, we're doing a Yorkshire Terrier, so we're going to modify things a little bit, but it's still basically following the same rules. So first of all, we're going to take his ears off. Because it's a Yorkie, I'm only going to use a number 10. 
be super careful when you're working on the ears, you guys. I know I'm constantly telling you that, but it's real, really, really important. So I'm just going with the hair. Make sure you hold the ear as flat, as flat as possible, okay? And going slow is always going to be key. And I'm just running that out straight to the edge of the ear. And the same thing applies on the inside of the ear. So I hold the edge of the ear and I go all the way out to the very edge. And I'm always gonna do the ears and the neck before I touch the eyebrow. So we've gone ahead and we've shaved his ears at this point. One quick thing I wanted to mention is that this dog is getting a schnauzer type trim, not a proper Yorkie. So if it was actually a proper Yorkie, it would just be doing the very tips of the ear. I just wanna make that clear. So remember that the last groomer has shaved down the bridge of the nose. So we already know that that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna to have to grow that out but I will have to clear the corners of his eyes. So I'm just gonna take a number 10 blade. And if you just take your finger and rub between their eyes a little bit, it makes it a lot less scary for them when you're going in and clearing the eyes. You can go with or against. I do a little bit of both. I feel like it's what you're most comfortable with. Okay, so we've done the ears, we've done the corners of the eyes. So I'm going to show you how to do a modified schnauzer trim on the face. So I'm going to hold the dog directly in front of me. And I'm using a number four attachment under my wall Bravera with a number 40 blade. And the first swipe that I'm going to do is going to be directly towards me. So I'm just coming straight towards me. Then I'm going to go to the side, a little bit to the side. Okay, <clears throat> typically on a schnauzer, you would use a number 10 blade on the cheeks and the throat. But because he's a Yorkie, I'm gonna scale it back a bit and I'm gonna use a number four. But it's still the exact same pattern line as what you would use on a schnauzer, okay? We're just modifying it a bit because we're working on a Yorkshire Terrier. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish putting that in and I'll show you so some eyebrows. We have the flat work all cut in on this guy. So make sure you always do that before you attempt to touch the eyebrows. Uh, if you don't, you're gonna lose your balance real easy. So I'm just gonna comb this hair straight down to the side and I'm gonna use my chunkers and I wanna just run that line straight up the side of the face, okay? Now you are thinking of a breed trim of a miniature schnauzer, but you're applying it onto a Yorkshire Terrier. So there are going to be a few differences. So you just want to cut the side of your beard in like that. And then I'm going to turn them on this side. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. <laughs> Little snorter. <laughs> He's a geek there. Okay, so once we've got that put in, I'm just gonna tip his head just a little. I'm gonna over direct his uh, eyebrows. And I'm just gonna take this little piece in the middle, in a little uh, V shape. Okay, that's how you separate the eyebrows. Now I'm gonna turn myself to the side here and I'm gonna over direct these. You can see the owners have already cut his eyebrow, so I don't have really any choice. I'm gonna to have to put a shorter eyebrow on him, but I'm still gonna go about it the same way. So I'm gonna turn his head to the side and I'm gonna take my chunkers and I'm just gonna, we've already got the tip of that eyebrow. I can't go any longer than the tip. So I'll go to the tip of the eyebrow. But really it's very cute still on a little schnauzer or on a little Yorkie. Then again, one more time, I'm just gonna over direct that eyebrow. <clears throat> I'm just gonna dust the ends of that off. And you can see how that little schnauzer face is coming together. I'm so there we are at the end of our little presentation with Bear the Yorkie Snorky. I hope you guys got some good tips. You can see his little schnauzerness now. I've really enjoyed giving you guys these videos. I can't wait to give you more. 
Remember to share, like, and subscribe. And if you guys want to be interactive and you want to have videos, send me your requests. I can't wait.